At Amica Insurance, we know it's more than a life policy. It's about the promise and the responsibility that comes with being a new parent, being there day and night, and building a plan for tomorrow, today. For the ones you'll always look out for, trust Amica Life Insurance. Amica. Empathy is our best policy. Hi, I'm Brandon. I love the way home. Hi, I'm Ryan, and I like the way home. I'm Dan, and for this particular episode, I despise the way home, and this is the Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's this podcast. Brandon and friends host this podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. Hello, everybody. Happy oh, Friday. Baby. Hello. What a hello. time to be alive. Very, very now, excited for today. I have a couple of questions. Fun. Yes, go uh, ahead. First of all, no way home this week. No way um, home. And I don't know how we're having this episode. But Super Bowl be- Sunday. Before we get to that, down. I'm, a, I'm a bit concerned about our boy Rye Guy, Uh-oh. who uh, has been trapped in a room with uh-huh. a video game console and one Power Ranger. Um if you and Barnes and Noble. if you are if you are uh, in trouble, just like blink a few times rapidly. <laughs> Guys, everything's fine. Listen, okay. you know, a little inside baseball <laughs> for the audience here, especially those on Philo. Uh, this was this is not our usual recording day or time, which is fine. Uh, it's a little early. I might not be my sharpest. Eventually, <laughs> there's going to be a nice little setup here in Alyssa and I's new place. We're not there yet. So for today, it's crisscross applesauce. My computer and mic may be on two storage bins. Everything's great. Everything's wow. great. He's What's that on the applesauce? other side of you? What is that red? Is it a, that a bat? Swiffer? What, what, is that? what is that over there? Oh, my mom got me this. It's a Cleveland Browns. I think it's for like cooking. It's like a like a dish holder oh, thing. So you that know? that needed yeah. to stay right there. <laughs> Well, so here's the thing, guys. I didn't. Nec- I was hoping that on the one percent chance you guys wouldn't realize I was on the floor, that I cover up like the cracks under the door. Oh, listen. But, uh, hey, Ryan, I got news for you. I see an entire baseboard, buddy. <laughs> it, it, unless you're in Gulliver's Travels or like Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, you are sitting on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, which I was fine with. Like, now Alyssa gave me big side eye before this. Uh, she was like, "Oh, you want to get the room ready?" I was like, "No, I'm just gonna sit on the I floor." And she was like, "She was like, I gotta get to work." Like, you know, like if but, you're watching uh, Philo, Philo TV slash DTH, you're in for a treat. She's as disappointed as we all are. Yeah, I think so. She's she's all of us. I think it looks. I think it looks good. Honestly, this might just be the. But also, spot, give them your so. address so they can send you a check if you need the money. <laughs> like, if you or money order, I think either Venmo. Bodie is wrong. Well, I won't give out my address, but if you want to send me some money so I can bet more on NBA All Star Saturday <laughs> night, exactly feel free. Right. That's exactly <laughs> right. Uh, are you betting uh, on the uh, celebrity game tonight? <laughs> are you going to put any uh, <laughs> see what Bieber does? If so, this just became an intervention. <laughs> uh, Kevin Hart plus two hundred for MVP. I'll think over, about it. Yeah, right. Over under. That's Bieber not a bad bet. Points. Actually, over That's under. Not a bad over bet. under Bieber five points. Is that? Oh, over, Ooh. over. It's oh, literally, over it's literally all Bieber's doing right now is playing. I don't actually know if he's in the celebrity game, but literally all he's doing right now is basketball. <laughs> if he is, it's all about volume, and they're going to give Bieber 20 shots. Usher like, tried to get him to show up to the halftime show, and he was like, I got a game at the Y at that time, yeah. and there's nothing I could do. I can't let those guys down. I know you've made my <laughs> career. I know, Usher, you made my career, but I've got a game. I got a game. Which with with uh, with Jeff and Bozo, and we've we've got court. We got we got, got court. Bieber, Bieber couldn't risk injury on roller skates before the NBA celebrity. Yeah, absolutely, game. absolutely. Can someone can someone please confirm that he's uh, doing yeah. this? Because it's uh, it's all that I need. Um, he's got Ryan. Court. What did you and uh, did you and Alyssa do anything for Valentine's Day? Are you a big Valentine's boy? Uh, we, we had a lovely time, uh, you know, cards exchanged, uh, flowers. Uh, we watched. Uh, so I, this is I want to make it very clear because Alyssa wouldn't like this if, if I misrepresent Alyssa, not the world's biggest Taylor Swift fan, but she does like the movie Valentine's Day, which stars Taylor Swift. A legendary so we watched movie. That. It is. I saw it for the first time. I say we review it here on the pod. Uh, you know what I watched on Valentine's how, Night was, you, was 10 Things I Hate About You, which I had never seen before, and I, I enjoyed I'll that. You, what, you hate was, Shakespeare. How'd it go for you? I enjoyed that. I enjoyed yeah, that. That is Shakespeare. Yeah, I enjoyed it uh, because of, uh, you know, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. 
mainly. Heath Ledger. My guy. Joe, yeah, JGL. Uh, uh, isn't Alex Mack in that? Isn't the secret world of Alex Mack in that brand? Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know. <laughs> well, I know that. I think she is. I know that. Um, uh, b- uh, b- 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 Bernard from the Santa Claus is in it. Bob 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 is in it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, Valentine's Day. I don't think I've seen it. I don't think I've seen that movie. So it's no New Year's Eve, oh, which I think was gosh. made by. Like, I just yeah. can't believe we're doing no. this. Right no, and now. I, I think that's more than fair. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I go mean, ahead, Aaron. Aaron's Your got Mike's some thoughts on Valentine's Day, the movie. No, I just want to be unmuted because I love both those movies. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, New Year's Eve is a good Valentine's one. Day Val- is, I believe, the okay. movie where they bring in some massive stars like Julia Roberts and yes. Jamie Foxx, and they let make you sit through an over two hour multi storyline. And it's worth every minute. Oh, it is. I don't remember it super well, but I remember it enough. <laughs> It was fine. I mean, it was fine. I, 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 I it was fine. Which was of like, the you know, which, all, which of the seven storylines was the strongest? Uh, I liked Julia Roberts and Bradley Cooper on the aeroplane. I thought that was fun. Yeah, thanks for saying it like that. I like <laughs> your that that aeroplane. That was nice. Yeah, that's that's how they said it back in the. Well, day. I think we all had a wonderful uh, Valentine's, but it all leads to this: it a does. very important the big show, uh, Friday edition of Deck the Homework, where we talk about. Some way home theories. Theories. There's the a way lot home of theories. There's a lot of theories. We have our own theories. We got some theories, obviously, for sure. and and everybody knows ours at this point because we talk about them every week. But what I wanted to do this week is I threw out to the double deckers, give us your best or most outlandish way home theory, and uh, we'll take them in. Yep. We'll discuss them. Try to decide if it's a valid, correct, valid theory or not, and go from there. So there's this. That's part of the fun of the way home is the fact that there are so many possibilities when it comes to time travel and the things that are surrounding the pond and the family and all that. Stuff. Part of the fun of this episode is is that full disclosure, Ryan, Brian, and myself, none of us have heard these theories. We yet. haven't. We, we didn't we, read nope, yes. the thread. We didn't look nope. at what was said. Uh, producer Aaron has those in a vault, and she's going to read them to us. And then she we're going to discuss. She printed them out on printer paper, put them in the in vault, vault, closed the it, vault. and right. has now opened it back up, which is, was yes. really, we should have put that on video because mm-hmm. that was actually really an amazing ceremony. <laughs> Would have been a good vlog. One caveat, I did write a theory into the thread, but I did not look at the, any of the other And theories. also, full disclosure, Ryan didn't know that's why we were doing this on the Facebook yeah. question. <laughs> yeah, I don't get he that. He had no <laughs> idea that that was for, to serve a greater purpose. Yeah, and a lot so, of this episode was locked in the vault. But, 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 but to be in fair, uh, Ryan's been locked in a vault of his own. And he, <laughs> exactly right. He's that in was, his own. He took his He's five his minutes vault. of internet time he's allotted every day. <laughs> To post a way home theory. And so that is on him hey, at Ryan, the end of the day. Ryan, for the people watching on follow, go ahead and stand up. Let's check out these shorts. <laughs> what what shorts are we rocking today? These, Whoa, these are- I didn't see that yeah. color coming. Yeah, I don't know if we can air this. Oh, now. my gosh. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a literal, Boy. literal drip there. That's uh, a literal <laughs> drip coming out of your crotchal region on your shorts. Whoa, well, well, that's a mischaracterization. Man. That's a mischaracterization. <laughs> Well, you know, it? we always talk, we, we always talk about how good the show would be if I was there all the time. Yeah. But really, I think we'd lose a lot. Lose, yeah, it's if time. I wasn't yeah, on there's video. nothing we can do yeah. about it. Are yeah. those are those Nickelodeon shorts? No, it's uh, it's a uh, uh, Scott Hall. You know, Brand, you're familiar course, with Scott yeah, Hall. Yeah, the Razor's uh, Edge, <laughs> Razor Ramon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are these are Scott Hall shorts. Yeah, these are Scott Hall. Shorts. Hey yo, uh, hey yo, hey yo. Yeah, look at look at Flicking Dan. the big, toothpick big. at you, absolutely. Wolfpack. Dan knows. Yeah. Dan knows. That's right. And then Kevin Nash, they were the outsiders for a while. Come oh, on. Look at, wow. oh, this is man. my two years. This is my two <laughs> years of wrestling knowledge. You hit, you hit in that window. All right. Um, Aaron, take it away with our first theory. Since Ryan called himself out, we'll start with his theory, okay. which is that he believes Stephen Curtis Chapman's Dive will be the opening credits theme song in season three. Oh, man. Discuss. Boy. I mean, I, th- I think it's a no-brainer. I, think- I do think it's a no-brainer. I'm frustrated they didn't even, as far as I know, consider yeah. it. Yeah. It, it, it. It does have a jovial... A couple of hurdles, if I may. One, they don't have a theme song right now. Uh, it is sure. just a little thing, and it's just like the water's moving. It says and, but the it is home. like the same... 
little sound. Little like it's like, like lost. Wow. There's a sound, yeah. but they don't do like a song where it's like, here we are, there's a pond, Andy's here, so is Kyler. Like they don't do that. <laughs> they just say the way home and then they move on. You don't see pictures of all the cast. That's really interesting. So in the song that you made up. They're, sing, real they're names. singing their real no, names, which does, sh- you know, you put it on. You don't yeah, see it. No. Andy McDowell. I see I what you're it. saying. No. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to do both yeah. at once. It should, yeah. yeah. I, I don't hate that Why idea. don't they, though? Yeah. Yeah. They should. And I guess I, I guess opening credits seems have kind of phased out just in general. What, you, and what if it was the, just oh, the beginning that don't, no, 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 no. Like that yeah. beginning of Dive. Yeah. That has a little liquidy, like, guitar riff in it. Like. Or you just play the, the opening card and it's just, I'm, I'm diving, diving in. in. Yeah, I think that. Yeah. And seconds. listen, I know everybody is waiting for me to press the button. I broke. <laughs> I broke the soundboard the that sound it was loaded that has on that button on it, and which so, would be perfect. I know for such a time as this. So I, I have to make the transfer over, and I apologize because uh, I don't, I don't. We have don't have that. it. I don't have we it. We don't right have. Now. We don't have the audio. Bummer. Yeah, I have. I have. Uh, I have this. I'm lonely. Oh. <laughs> lonely. That's from a, a deck that I'm don't. Oh, oh, stop it. The way she lonely. said, she's clearly singing, right, Ryan? She's I'm the, lonely. the whole, the whole, it's the only option, right? The whole bit of that was that's a line of dialogue that's given not as a song <laughs> in that movie. And, and, and one more time, Ryan, one more time. <laughs> Here it is from the top. My, I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I have that. That line of dialogue is delivered as if there is, like, as she's not supposed to be singing. Lonely. <laughs> it was a bit. No, it was a real movie that we turned into a bit. Uh, lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. So, oh, that's funny. at the very least, we have that. Oh. Um, Aaron, next one. Okay. Um, this one comes from Colleen, uh, who wants us to know that she has never watched an episode of this show. Okay. But she wonders oh. if it is aliens. Oh, <laughs> just it's aliens? The now, theory was aliens. I will say this. I mean, there is a time traveling pond that right. we have to either enter into canon as normal or we have to have a, an origin story. Some sort of thing that happened. Sure. Now, to that point, if you go back to, I believe, episode one, where Dell was fondling the dirt and going, this Stop is good it. dirt, this Don't, is good dirt. This is good stuff. It could be aliens came, left some residue Sprinkled in the dirt, the dirt or right. something. Yeah. That dirt then made its way somehow into the pond, which made it possible for time travel. I'm not saying that's what happened, but I, I do think... It's I not mean, outside the realm I of possibility. I think the chances are better than Stephen Curtis Chapman Dive being yeah. the theme song. Yeah. So so far, this is number one on the list. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> where where I land on this, and I'm not even trying to be funny, is like, I don't know, that's as plausible as anything else as to why this time traveling pond exists right. but, but i do think that the end of the at the end of the day we're not going to get a pond origin story i think we're, I we're think going so. to be asked to believe that the pond served a purpose yes um and I, I do think there's a possibility that perhaps not this season but in uh, uh seasons three or four Maybe there is some other time traveling device outside of the pond that we find Ooh, out about. Another, oh. another on the token. But another token. yes, but yes. I don't. I don't think we'll ever find out how or why. No, I no, no. I, you never. Is. You never yeah. find out. You, you never I, find out why the island and lost has all correct. of these magical. And, properties. and I do think, yeah. you know, we uh, after last week's episode, we got a lot of messages, and we got a two big comment threads on, you know. And then we got messages from people who aren't in the double deckers that were like, "Hey, why is bringing Jacob back to the future uh, breaking the rules?" And I, in all honesty, I do think that's on me. I think all of this is a, an opinion, right? Like all of this is an opinion on what we sure. think the show should do. I think instead of saying that, because then the pawn does need an origin story if we're talking about the rules of, of time travel. But the better way to say it is is that I've always thought the way home is a show about 
learning how to deal with the mistakes you've made in the past and not being able to change them. I think thematically, that's what the first season is, is if we dwell in the past and keep trying to fix the mistakes, then we don't ever get a future. You know, we have a bad relationship with our daughter or our mother or both or whatever. And, and so learning to, to, to leave it and learning to find your way back home to the present is what I've always thought it was, is if we're bringing Jacob back, that that doesn't play, that doesn't that ruins that that ruins that for me because part of your life is the loss of that and dealing with that and moving forward and finding some beauty in the ashes and so but the only problem there is that not the only thing that happened is he is he went back in time it's not correct. like but someone he, di- he like it's not like he died but he's on a journey back. like sure. he's he's now had to deal with his loss he's not trying to find a way back home to the present he's had to deal with his loss of what it meant to have a mom and dad and all that stuff. And now he's got to live in a different place and time. And that is now his, his timeline. That is now his home. I I do think the biggest question for me in regards to that is when Jacob went back for that, when he jumped in on that fateful night of the carnival um, and he heads back to 1814, took a little trip. Does he ever try to jump back in? Does he ever like put that together and go, Oh, I did. Cause Obviously, Correct. Alice does. He doesn't Alice is able to figure that. Out. He's now twenty four. He sure. The so 1700s. back, whatever that is. But did he ever yeah. on that? Like, did he go? Hey, I'm trying to get back, or like, or did Correct. the pawn not take yeah. up? Like that. Those are things that we don't know yet, which I think will help answer: Is it possible for him I to think get back? In the weird way of answering this dumb pawn thing about the aliens, it, what I'm saying is, is that the way it's my fault. I, the way I'm saying breaks the rules makes it sound like there are rules written in concrete. There aren't. For me, if we have rules written in concrete, then the pawn does have to come from aliens or somewhere. What I'm, like, my take of this is as subjective as anyone else's. And in my take, it would make no sense for them to, I I don't think they can bring Jacob to the present. But him coming back and going back when he jumps in in 1814, heading back into that year, I, the the way that I understand time working within it is that the time that you're in it's it, moving. the time that you're in it here, but it it just is the same amount of time there. My thing is, is it justifies everything Cat's done, and Cat is sure. clearly acting with reckless abandon right now. She's like, you sure. you just watch it. I'm gonna fix this. Yeah, I killed my dad, but I'm not gonna blah blah right. blah. It she is clearly not living in the moment and moving forward and celebrating what she has and like she's in a bad place right now and it justifies if she successfully does this then basically she was right she should keep going back in time to try to do all kinds of stuff find every missing person that may have gotten into the pond she should do that and that's not what in my opinion right. it's not fact right. in my opinion that is breaking the rule of this show like what this show is about at the end of the day all of these characters are trying to like use the past for something they shouldn't instead of realizing that all they can do is move forward. Right. But so coming, that, but, but coming back home, would not break it. would not break an actual time travel. Would not break rule. a pond rule. Correct. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. The one thing I want to say, Brand, off your point is that, and I think this is probably more likely for season three, because we obviously have no way to know how the Jacob stuff plays out right. for the rest of season two. But I do think, I think you both would agree, we will need a Jacob-focused episode once we finally get, like, we need the Jacob 1794 through 1814 episode, because otherwise I think far too many questions open up about his story. Like, why did, like, you're telling, like, he seemed to have a loving relationship with his family. You're telling me he jumps in the pond, he meets these people, and he's like, this sounds like a good home for me now. Like, you do have that scene where it's back in the 1790s. The old woman's like, not yet. Yeah, like, this is how you get home, but not yet. So there is, I would like an episode because clearly something's going on. And I like, and that, that not yet, like, what is... Yeah. How does she, how does she know? Clearly, that implies that at some point, and we don't aliens. see that person's face or aliens. Yes, yeah, of course, or aliens <laughs> might just be aliens. <laughs> I I also think that it just is a it's a different vibe. Like it's just a different vibe. What we're and it's probably because we're spinning too many plates. But it is a a different vibe of what seems to be a through line of season one. What we're, we're kind of doing here, and I don't think we're going to get answers like about 
the pond or sure. about this time that he spent there. At least this season. Like, I don't think, that, I don't think there's a space for it. What if he's been held season. captive and then gaslit to why he's there and he's nine and he blocked? Like, I, like right. they could come up with the all other sorts thing of is, things for sure. Right. The, the other thing is, I think what they're telling us, the, the characters are telling us, the audience is relatively generally true about where he is right now and all that. But like, we don't know for sure. We, we haven't, haven't seen, seen him. him. We haven't talked because to him. once like, again, Cat you know, actually hasn't found him, despite what she would like to claim. Um, right. Aaron, let's do one more and then we'll take a quick break. Well, well, before you do that, my crackpot theory is now Jacob is now the same Jacob from Lost. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. He's like, you can't ever see him, but he's rocking that chair. Mm -hmm. As soon as he travels back, now he goes to this island, <laughs> and then and then he comes back to the 1800s and fa uh, 1900s and founds Hope Valley. <laughs> Lost, Sorry, one Lost Island was in Canada. Yeah, we can we, confirm. We can confirm. Yeah. Love that. Aaron? So we're going to go out of order now because you guys just won't drop the lost thing. Here's a theory from CC. All right, that sounded personal. <laughs> In the future, Jacob gets Sorry, on Aaron. Oceanic Flight 815 from oh my Sydney, gosh. Australia to Los Angeles, California, and changes his name to Jack upon crash landing on a deserted island so as not to be confused with the protector of the island, Jacob. CC and I are sharing a brain, <laughs> like <laughs> literally sharing a brain, because I almost did that <laughs> bit instead, and I was like, no, Jacob to Jacob. But what she said is better. Uh, like just better, um, and I love it, and I I I want it to be true so badly. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. definitely want. I think she nailed it. I think she I mean, did. I think we got. It. I think she nailed yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, give me one more. Give me one more. Okay. Um. This one comes from John Volmer. What if the horse is Colton? And there's some <laughs> there are some theories on whether that is shape shifting or reincarnation, but. The it, horse uh, is Colton? I, 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 it's an interesting one just because of the way in which the horse is just kind of like there I, and she's talking to the horse. And I think the horse is all the lobsters that were eaten at the lobster uh, show. An amalgamation. Right. Hey, why'd you eat us? We we're just trying to have a night out talking. It's fun. Did you say horse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did somebody say horse? Man. She Man. does have like a weird relationship with the horse, but it is you, to yes. introduce some sort of reincarnation, shape shifting storyline into the time travel show would be a very bold move. What if Colt jumped Adela. into the pond as a human and came out as a horse, and he's like, "What the horse. f, man?" <laughs> so now that, I'm but, stuck but like this. to that point, if that ha if uh, is an <laughs> option, like, what if? Okay, so we have seen, obviously, the females of the family jump in the pond and time travel and come back in female form. What if whenever a male jumps in the pond and comes back, they come back as an animal? The dog. What if the dog is actually Jacob? What if the horse is Colton? I'm just throwing things so out here, guys. That females can travel through the time <laughs> of, with the pond and they just are the same. The and same. then men show up as animals yeah An animorphs animorphs, animorphs. So you're saying yes. jacob followed yeah. himself into the pond. that's right i think yeah, it's I, possible I, I, Dude. We have, we, oh, okay yeah <laughs> guys i'm just hey but back in 1814 is Susanna engaged to a dog Different Jacob. Different. It's a mistaken identity okay, situation. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, well, there's, yeah. there's a couple yeah, yeah, Jacobs course. in 1814. Yeah, yeah. That's true. She hasn't actually found Jacob yet. She's yeah. only heard of Jacob. Oh, Brian Harold in the chat. Colt, Colt is a baby horse. Colton. Colton wow. is a grown-up horse. It's in the name. It's in the name. Ooh, That's actually yeah. not bad. Man. That's not bad. Harold coming in hot. Hey, one more thing. 1814, Oceanic trip. Flight 815. Oh, it my all gosh. Really, like, that <laughs> what are we like, one, even doing? Yeah. One plus 814 is 815. Yeah. It's this real. Is, it's real. This is pretty obvious. I can't believe we cracked the code, not even before the first break. I know. Wow. Well, let's take that first break. We'll come back and we'll get some more theories here on Deck, Deck the Hallmark. Hallmark. You can make money the hard way becoming a bullfighter or save money the easy way with Xfinity Mobile. It sure beats making money as a human cannonball. Learn how existing Xfinity customers can get a free line of unlimited intro for a year when they buy one unlimited line. Plus, now through February 27th, ask how to get the new Samsung Galaxy S24 with 128 gigabytes on us. Visit XfinityMobile.com today. Free unlimited line offer ends March 21st. Restrictions apply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of usage per line. Data thresholds may vary.
We're back. We're talking way home theories, everybody. Yep, so yep, far, yep. Uh, a lot of real good ones. Uh, <laughs> let's find bro. out. Let's find out if we got any more good ones. Aaron. Yep. This one comes from Megan Volmer. Okay. Uh, she thinks that Dell is the White Witch. They make it seem like it's Cat, but the White Witch steals a little boy, and Cat is trying to steal a full-grown man. I think Dell is the one who tried to steal 1890 Jacob, and thus became the White Witch. Maybe she tried to steal him right before the show started, and that's why she decided to clear to declare him dead slash reach out to Cat because she knew Jacob was never coming home. So, I mean, she follows Jacob in time back to that time to get him, and then like doesn't. Does that bring mean him. you mean set, would that be seventeen ninety? Dell Dell is yeah seventeen ninety. Like, yeah, so seventeen ninety. So Dell just can't die. She's a witch and is still living today. I I like the the core of this because this goes back to what we've been talking about since last season, which is that. Either Dell knows everything yes. and the show is kind yeah. of compromised from a story perspective or it knows nothing and it's almost insulting our intelligence. So, this is maybe the one scenario yeah, let's, where like, it works. I, let's say 1790, she gets him. She does jump in the pond with him. We've already seen that the pond is powerful enough to split two Correct. people, even if they're holding. So she could yeah. be holding Jacob. It splits apart. She does come back and she's just like, this is a lost cause. I don't know, maybe cat like I I could I don't know. That's interesting. It is. And I do think that this season of the show, last season of the show, seemed very like t- airtight and like they knew what they were gonna do. Time travel is a use a, a mechanism to let people experience something from a different perspective, but at the end of the day, not be able to change it. This year has this weird feeling that People in the, it just feels like people in present day are older versions of people that we meet in other time periods. And we're going to find out that it is a circle that can't be broken. Like the only reason they're old now is because something they did then. And the only reason they did it is because they went back from when they were young in the future to do it. And if they didn't do it, they wouldn't be old now. And there's nothing we can do in this weird circle. And I think if that's true, Andy McDowell is in the center of that circle. She 100% could be living in all of these different time periods uh, and being the white witch makes sense. If that's the case, the showrunners basically lied at that point. But I love it. I love throwing you off the scent by saying, no, 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 Kat's the the person in that photo at the end is Kat. And then we think that means she's the white witch because she's being chased. But really the white witch wasn't her. And and she's getting away for some other reason. Maybe she stole some some bread. I don't know. I'll, I'll say this. And Dan, to your point, and could go back to what I said a minute ago, oh, I'd rather it be something... <laughs> I'd rather it be something creative and unexpected like this, as opposed to just either she never knew when we're like, huh, yeah. or she always knew when we're like, huh. Like, so at least this like, kind of splits Listen, the middle in a way that could be narratively I interesting. love Dell being a villain who's known the whole time. And the reason she's acting like she doesn't know is, is she started this to originally fix the past. And she now... Look, and I'm going to get real serious for a second. People who have these things they do when they're young that are so impactful in their life and they hold their trauma, instead of ever unpacking it, they just pack lie on lie on lie on top of it. And that thing just, the most important thing is like Gollum in the ring becomes protecting this thing My that you're that very nicely Thank done. You. That you're ashamed of from when you were younger and everything, all of your energy is put behind protecting the, the, the trauma lie that, that started this. I love, it is super dark, but I love the idea that Dell did something to fix the past. It set us in motion on this, and all of this has been her going, I can't let anybody figure this out because I'm embarrassed, and it actually means Kat's going to go back and it's going to kill my husband, and all of this is going to happen because I tried to save my boy, and it didn't work, and I've set us on this course, and instead of coming clean... I'm continuing to play dumb and lie and let other people add to their trauma instead of trying to heal the the generational trauma that I've caused. That is deep, that's dark, it's real, it's human, and it's amazing, and they should do it. I don't think they're gonna. (laughs) I don't think they're gonna. But I would love it if they did. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. What else, Aaron? (laughs) Y'all don't know where to go from there. No. Like, I got nothing to add. No, you did great. Play the I'm Lonely bit again. (laughs) I'm lonely. (laughs) 
Yeah. Um, there are several comments about, um, is it just Landry's, I'm going to try on the spot here to, to combine these all into one cohesive mm-hmm. comment. Ooh, um, wow, this is fun. Is it just Landry's who can travel through the pond? So meaning like Colton and therefore Cat and therefore Alice. But not Dell. If you, let, let me just keep okay, sorry. Th- theorizing here. Um, is it someone who marries into a Landry? So therefore Dell can travel. And is it beyond the Landry's? Is it all founding families of this town? So therefore like Elliot's ancestry and the only reason we think that Elliot can't travel is because Elliot told us. And he also, did he try to jump in at some point? He mm. says. Uh, maybe, he, maybe young, young Elliot. Elliot says maybe he young. tried. Um, but we've learned that Elliot is not the most reliable narrator of this time travel <sighs> story. Right. Total nefarious. Um, Total and there nefarious. is also a theory that potentially Dell is related to the Goodwin family. Um, that woman who just died and left the mansion. Um, that maybe Dell is a part of a, fam- a founding family in her own I, line. Yeah. But so I guess just more than Kat and Alice can time travel. Is we're, it open yeah. to more families? I think we're mixing a lot of different possibilities. But are we to say then, I thought Elliot at some point jumped in and tried to jump after Kat or Alice or one of them and then just didn't go anywhere and they did. Push yeah, back. but no, like yeah. actually jumped in the water. I, I I thought that maybe I just made that up in my head. Yeah, but we've seen Kat and Alice at separate times Correct. try to time travel and get rejected. But we've so not, we only saw one attempt by Elliot. But if if this is if we're just going on Elliot's word, are we to then we don't actually know no one else has attempted to time travel then in this entire show that no one has unsuccessfully time traveled in this show that hasn't previously successfully done it. So we've not seen someone who knows about this go and never be able to do it, even though they're trying. That has not happened yet in our 13 episodes, 14 as, episodes. As best we can recall. Right? As best we can recall. Right. Yeah. I thought the Elliot thing happened too, Dan, but I, but I don't have it in Aaron's front of me. Aaron's saying is sure. even if it did, yeah. it happened once, and, you know, Kat and, and Alice yeah. aren't always able to travel when they want to. Yeah, so we, we saw Elliot success. try yeah. and get rejected, yeah. but, like, he doesn't right. they, always tell us the truth. They've successfully left that very oh. ambiguous because now it's like, can Dell time travel? Can she not? The dog can. Uh, does the dog time travel all the time? Just that once. Uh, like, is it the same dog? Dude, can, can anybody from the... The town thing gets really complicated because... Then I'm be- sorry, do we know that the dog can actually time travel? For sure? Um, can just ju- that was the season one... F- I, I don't does remember... Does he just jump beat, in and Jacob in jumps in after finale. Well... The reason we think that is is because Andy McDowell Dell says the dog will leave yeah, for long stretches true. and come yeah. back. Yeah, and that's right. If it's their and it is their pet. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And so I I can't like there's no way way else to for that to work in my right. opinion. I mean yeah. he could just be going to his you know well unless the dog's an alien yeah or uh, he's got a family on the side he's getting belly rubs and snugs on the side. Somewhere. Oh my gosh, he might just be just, sitting crisscross applesauce with his right. other family. Power you know? Ranger in the background. Yeah. No sane person. PlayStation, uh, um, Switch, whatever that is back there. A place. What is that? <laughs> it's a PlayStation. It's portal. a portal. It's, you can play your, you can play your PlayStation on the old yeah. uh, like and handheld. Promo code deck at checkout, Ryan. <laughs> so it's a PSP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's it's. We don't have guys. We got to talk about aliens. Sorry. We don't have time. Um, <laughs> it is. Yeah, I I tend to. The blood relative thing has to be out if the dog travel if the dog can time travel. And so does the land. Yeah, the well, dog dog's family. Yeah. Yes, I know that. But but this whole idea of the landry line or ownership of land doesn't include dogs. Right? Like mm-hmm. so dog if if dog can time travel, then you have to throw blood relation and land ownership out. Right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean I okay. think so, yeah. And then Langley yeah. is I saying also the dog think, does show up oh, in, t- in both time periods. Okay. So then he can time travel. Okay. Right. Yeah. And also uh, to bring it back to the most simple and basic theory, the premise of the show, as far as we're concerned, it's very possible that Elliot's lying about yeah. everything. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, I would but, say yeah. if the dog time travels, that means that well, the, the Jordan's saying we see the dog in 23, 24, and then he's who Jacob follows in 1999. So like, Proof the dog is time and looks the same in both of those, which that's he wouldn't. true. That's Pro- true. Proof that the dog does time travel. That's there. true. What I, were you gonna say, Aaron? So I was just I have to back up my thoughts a second here. So is it just back up, back up. <laughs> so we're throwing out the fact that it's like 
<laughs> like blood landries or founding families is it just open to any creature that the pond decides or does yeah. this family have to own it at that point i'm kind of out because if the dog <laughs> is time traveling yeah it, it's yeah it's, it's not any it's, it's, it's any one or thing that the, that the pond thinks the, the needs to travel great, for the sake of a great device in season one amazing that he's there the whole time and then we did call it on the first episode i don't want to be that person but we did but most people that was a big shocker for them <laughs> and it's great but now that we're further into this mythology the dog presents some problems he doesn't help them as much as it hurts them writing the show that where they the, the, they're right well it just proves that the 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 pond is ultimately the, they've they've continued to say it takes you where you need to go, and that means it also takes whomever right. it needs. To so it go isn't to, blood or land. So it, it is it is helping yes. move. If we're if if the theory of it just being uh, a, a big giant circle, then it'll it'll do or take or move whoever and whatever to for the sake of the circle. Yeah. I think best case scenario is that they don't spend a lot of time on this. I think like, you know, like, let's just focus on the Landry of it all. Our self-contained story, the dog traveled. That's great. But I, to your guys point, I don't think we need uh, a ton of mythology on how the pond works overall. Cause I think it gets very muddy very quickly. Literally. Um, Aaron. Um, there is some discussion on the fountain that was at the Goodwin Manor. Yeah. And if that is connected to the pond at all. Is it the water? Yeah. I, I a lot think of people thought it was sus. I don't ha- Yeah. Sus. It's nicely done. I don't know if this is a theory as much as it is. I just want to know, like, we're starting to bring in some of this, like, <clears throat> mythology talk. Like, is it the dirt? Is it the water? Is it the place? And I think the one thing this show has done really well is, is it's not... It stayed very non-committal to this, to where you have to. We have to have an episode like this, right? So they've not ever. They're giving they you enough. They start this season with Dell just being like the dirt. That's right, and yes. they do nothing with it. Yes, uh, clearly yeah. that's something. Yeah, it's clearly yeah, yeah, yeah. something, yes. some sort of thing. I, you know, what's interesting? You and I saw um, the the pool movie. Um, so uh, night swim, night, Madam night Webb. swim. We did, I have um. not seen that. We saw night swim. In night swim, there is the there is this pond element. That's right. They make a pool out of it. Yes. This one woman brings it a is, fountain into her house with that the water. The mythology of this water is phenomenal, and the the way home in that area of night swim could take some notes. That's yeah. It's a fun time. Maybe they are. Maybe we don't know it. They are. Some say the, the yeah I don't know it's, uh, maybe they yeah tapped into the pond and it's going into this fountain for some reason yeah I don't I don't yeah. know I don't know tap water yeah tap, tap water tap yeah. water um, Aaron um, then we have a theory from Jordan um, I'm gonna read it as she has written because I've been trying to make sense of it in my brain and it it's a lot and my brain can't do it. <laughs> Um, so she says her theory is Colton and time travel. Um, her craziest theory is that Colton's original timeline is actually in the future. And he happened to jump back to somewhere around the eighties, meet Stell and decides to stay in the past with her. Just Um, like Jacob is doing right now. Yeah. So they meet a slightly younger Colton who hasn't jumped yet. All this stuff. Um, it gets a little tricky because then like, how did Colton get the farm in the nineties if he's from the future. Um, I love, I love the idea of this very, very much. Um, and I think, I think it, it has a lot of merits. The idea that these people may not, we don't know aside from Kat and Alice, we don't know exactly when anyone else's original timeline was. Right. Because we've only seen them discover the pond. Everyone else, that's what makes some of these characters like old Roy or Byron or whatever his name is, like if it make <laughs> make, make him interesting is like or this 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 Talk person that sus. shows up and they're helping uh cat at the archives. Because right. you know, our head of archives. Whew. Like are they a lot of, of people every, think, every single thing that yes. they said was suspicious. So cryptic. Yeah. Sus. And, super sus and, and it and it's one of these things that it's as long as it's satisfying and it makes sense 
I'm here for it. Also, the idea that the men are going back in time and staying and the women can come back is great because the men are like, dude, there's just more of a stranglehold on the patriarchy right now. Like, we, we've got it. We, we are in charge more here than we are where we came from. Let's stick around. I think that is a fun element that would never come up in this show, right. but it's fun. The idea that the, the bros go back and they're like, <laughs> Well, well we made like, America great again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> up but, top, like you know what I mean. I think the biggest reason why that one is like it's a not it's nine year old Jacob. Like yes. Jacob That's at true. nine isn't like That's man. True. It's so hard being a boy right yeah, yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like yeah. I think that, that uh, yeah. probably won't come up for that reason. But it is interesting that they're sticking around, falling in love, and just being like. That's right. This is good and here. then all, all the ladies are like, nah, we're going to get back. We're going to get back. But it is, is interesting, you know. Obviously, I love the idea though. I love the idea a lot. Um, he. I think we'll get something like this by next I will say, season. Like even if it's not if it's not this season, I think it's next season. And before season you get going, sure. if Colton is still alive anywhere, I'm I'm going to be upset. I like I think even if it's different Colton, I think death has to matter. Like this is true about every TV show. Like a show jumps the shark when they have a very dramatic death scene that has big ramifications for every character, and then they pull the rabbit out of the hat and they bring him back. I can think of literally none right now. I bet you could convince me there's a few exceptions to that rule, but typically that is one of my least favorite tropes in all of visual media. Like, if they were to bring back Iron Man or Captain America in the Avengers, I would be like, this is stupid. Like, well, get that, ready. That, no, it's going to happen. But like... <laughs> It's the, it's no, if they brought a different one, whatever it is, got the show's got to go on. But in this TV show, Colton's death is a huge part of everyone's character. Right. Now, what if Colton's a horse? Yeah, that's a different story. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, some people would say yes to Colton being a horse, and I'm kind of saying nay. Nah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, th I feel like Colton, if we, if we experience a world where, Colton is alive and we, we make him alive and get to have a reunion. That's what we all want. But I think that that's to the detriment of the characters. Yeah. So 100%. there you have it. Let's take one more quick break. We'll come back. We'll do a few more. Aaron, is it, we got a few more. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. Call uh, it. I'm get letting everybody know. We should do know this again at the end of the season. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think well, it's a good idea. Yeah. All right. Aaron, Dr. Allmark. Uh, Ryan, have your captors brought you breakfast yet, or what time does that? I got to tell you, real, real quick, I, the good time bit. I, I, I sit, crisscross applesauce for this long is actually proven yeah. pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Crisscross blood flow problems. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> and then I, and then I started, I started stretching my leg, but you guys have me all stressed about the shorts now, so I don't want to do that. Crisscross, so, crisscross. I need but, applesauce for everyone on file. Just real quick. Okay, that's really yeah, exactly. yeah, very hard. Look okay. at you, man. Okay, come on. All right. Mm. All right, we're good to go. How, Aaron, a couple Ryan, more. Ryan Papola, yeah, I think, fans. Yeah, we got to do this quick. Today. Ryan does have somewhat <laughs> yeah. of a heart out. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's when he gets to go outside for calisthenics. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> you get 30 minutes, I believe. <laughs> He's like, guys, this is important, uh, but it's not going to cut into my gym time. That's exactly I get right. 30 I minutes of physical water. activity yeah, a day. And then they give me a bag of milk. It's uh, awesome. We have a lot of theories to get to. <laughs> out in the yard. Okay. Sorry. Go Rapid ahead. fire. Here we go. Quick. Um, another one from Megan is that the Goodwin teenager that we meet at the end of the yes. episode is Alice's daughter from the future. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that's uh, a sure thing. They say it would be an this. honor to work in print media before it's dead with a weird tone as if yes. it is completely dead where they are from. 100%. I yes. think I think I that this is a yeah. sure thing. Yes. Yeah, the 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 family generational line we uh, we're we're expanding both directions. I love that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Brand, when you said it last week, I hadn't considered it yet. But, like, yeah, to my point, like, I think we need something like this from the future for sure in season three. I think it's a great season two finale moment to find that out, even though we figured it out three weeks ago. You know, it's this, it's this year's dog, I think, uh, yeah, is yeah. kind of how we're looking. <laughs> we figured out the dog very early. We did. Now. We knocked it out. Yeah. We knocked so, it out of the park. You lucky That's dog. Exactly right. <laughs> you lucky dog. <laughs> uh, Aaron. Um, at the end of episode one, when we see somebody watching the family, um, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh. What if that's Jacob? Not Colton. What if that's Jacob? I think I said that uh, during I think week you one. Did. I, 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 I am steadfast that that's not Colton. Right. I think that's too obvious. I think, I think it's a red And it would herring. make sense that, that an older Jacob head. would look like, a or at bit. least yeah. similar yeah. to yeah. his Colton father. Colton watching his family is, is where I am. But that was issues. in... 
90, I mean, it, 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 it's going to make Dan mad if it's Yeah, Jacob because, because that, he Jacob would be too old. Years. He would be yes. too old at that. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, He'd be 180 yeah. years Even old. if he yeah. jumped back and then jumped back I'm just to, saying, to home, he would be too, like, the time wouldn't work. I'm just saying if the, if the, if the creators of the show who have been amazing and we've got to talk to them and they're wonderful, but there's a, there's a temptation the longer the show goes and the most successful, more successful it gets is, is to no longer use the device, but let the device use you. Like if you will keep that device as a way to build character and to have characters deepen their relationships and move forward and heal, this show is like an all timer. If the device uses you to create more plots and mysteries and mythology that don't make sense, you know, we don't get to have these fun episodes, but I think the show has more integrity the, the other way, in my opinion. Well, if if my understanding of time, like if you are in the past for two days. It's two days in the present. Two days in the present. They, they've established that. Then yeah. hit uh, Colton, or I'm sorry, uh, older Jacob wouldn't make sense because he's watching them in 99 or 2000, right? The only, he's watching the 2000 Yeah, the family. only... Brand, the only caveat to that, and maybe I apologize if I'm just totally off the mark on this. There are moments in season one where Alice or Kat get back, and then when they jump back, it's like months later. So I don't know if that can it work. Doesn't in the work reverse. Reverse. It doesn't work reverse. It doesn't work reverse. What he's yeah. saying is if okay. Jacob is comes it? back to see them in 2000, he cannot be an old man. He can't be. He would have to still be a boy. He left in 1999. He can only be one year older. Right. That is the max he can be. Or. Is there any? We got a problem, <laughs> right? So, assuming though that Jacob is in eighteen fourteen now as a twenty something, he can't jump back uh, to two thousand. He can only jump back into how far it's been since he jumped forward. I got you. Okay, yeah, that was after his disappearance. Correct. I got now it, I that got this it, is it. interesting yep, 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 in the chat it. right now. It's probably Elliot watching them. What if Elliot yes. time travels back okay. and just wants to watch the yeah. family Elliot, or something? Yeah, Jacob. I'm yeah. out. If it's Jacob, I've got issues. I'm out on Jacob. I thought the family at the end. Was the present day family? Oh, I thought it was no. the 1990. No, and, and, and it is because I remember talking about how it's weird that it'd be Colton because Colton's in the shot and uh, Colton okay, is okay. in the shot. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so it's actually yeah. it's the two 99 it's 2000. 99, yeah, it's actually like season before, two episode one was like months ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it was a lot. No, it's oh, 99 because no, no. Jacob is still there too. The whole oh, family yes. is still there, and so right, that's it can't tough. be it can't, it can't be Jacob. So it could, can't be. Yeah. All right. Well, Elliot, Elliot, Elliot it is. Elliot I don't think sense. it's Colton. I don't think it's Colton. And if I, if we're wrong about the the yeah. scene, I apologize. It does seem like it's been been months. Now, but I do believe it was the entire family, Jacob and Colton included, in 99, and somebody's watching them from yeah. the woods. Well, there is – Jordan does raise this, and this is fair. Uh, it, I hate it, but it is, fa it is fair logically. Jacob gets taken back from 1814 to 2024, grows up, and then jumps back to, to 99. Does that make sense? Oh wow! So, interesting. Yeah, that's I, I, that's what I was trying to. Yeah, articulate. I hate that's that. Interesting. But but I I think that the logic there makes more sense than him yeah. jumping back and being older. Why do you hate it? Because of the whole my whole diatribe early on, where I'm like, the point of this show is not for Cat to write wrongs. Sure. Okay. Okay. It's for her to move on and not make any more wrongs. That's the point: is to heal and get better, not to go back and fix the past. The whole point is you can't. It's literally 10 straight episodes of her dealing with grief and depression and you can't fix it. You can't keep trying. You can't do it. Like that's the, that's the thing. But if it is Jacob, although in the opposite direction of time, it isn't that much different than Kat Correct. trying yeah. to save if, her if dad. If Kat and goes back him. to try to save dad, yeah. what if Jacob is also doing, like if he gets brought back and he's like, maybe I, maybe I can do it. If we know that Kat can't, right. maybe but how'd I can he get do there? It. How'd he get there? It's a great yes. question. It's a really good theory, but it's a, it's definitely an interesting. Like this, sh the the way this show just does something and then like goes weeks without even acknowledging it again is one of its best traits and its most frustrating because I just want to sure. know like what is going on for there. sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's do like two more. Let's do two more. Is that okay, Ryan? Quick, like quick, quick hitters. Okay, thanks Great. for the thumbs up. It is an audio uh, format, but I do appreciate because the people on Philo love your thumbs. We when, we when get we, a lot of comments will, about your thumbs. We will hard out cut it when we hear the cell door open, which is like there's no way that we can stop that on your end. So that's we'll, exactly we'll, right. That's when we'll cut it. Here we go. Hey, Brand, two more sound. Thank good. you, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Um, in yep. advance. One is that Jacob is the nefarious one. His trip where he went missing was not his first trip through the pond. 
And then they have proof. Um, one is his collection of pond Polaroids means he knew at least something about the pond. In season one, episode one, Kat has a flashback of Jacob and Colton fixing an old clock and Colton saying, you know exactly how to do it. Have you done this before? And Jacob says, maybe. All this time in the past, he never once thought of jumping in the pond, question mark. I think he knew how to come back, but chose not to torture his family. I I gotta wow. be honest. Wow, love it, f- love I, it. I need to go back to the first <laughs> episode. If if Colton looks at Jacob and says, "You you, you know how to fix a you clock. fixed a clock as a nine year old. Have you done this before?" And he says, "Maybe." Maybe. What in the world? What is that? How did I miss that line? Oh, that's wild. I wonder if it was seven o'clock. Seven when o'clock. He did it, <laughs> Could have been late, late for that lobster social for sure. Seven o'clock. That's right. <laughs> That's wild. That is crazy. Yeah, we we maybe should do a pilot. I I, at some I point. that is a lot in that one specific theory, and I'm gonna just sit on it for a while because I don't even know how to respond. That's a, a that is a yeah. scene that I need to rewatch. Correct, and then reevaluate everything I thought about. That, my that life. would mean Jacob has lived more years than he looks, though, which is a problem with how the time travel works, right? If Jacob. At least on the surface, if what Jacob we know, is right? nine yes. and yeah. can fix a clock without any tutorial of any kind, my man has seen some things and some stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit problematic, but that still means cool. he traveled when he was like four and immediately got into clock making. <laughs> when when was when were clocks big? <laughs> when would have been prime time for children just, to learn clocks? I love that that happened, and yeah. it's it's throwing a wrench into things, but also it makes it creates more problems from a standpoint of what we think the pond does and how the time travel works. We might just have to let that one go. Yeah, Dan. we might. Have to, sometimes you got sometimes you got to let it go. Sometimes you got to let it go. Yeah, one more, Aaron. Very interesting. One more. All right, one more. Uh, this comes from Hillary, who is Hillary. our resident way home enthusiast. Um, and we're just going to do a quick close-up on Dan. This involves Dan. Oh. Dan oh. is Colton. <laughs> Hillary believes that Dan is a way home writer and refuses to tell us his this being dissatisfied with things is just a cover-up attempt. And Kathy chimes in to say, well, we all know he's actually a win calls the heart writer because how else did he know that Elizabeth would switch teams? I Dan, am, you're on the record. I am the puppet master of bad television. <laughs> I am pulling all the strings. Um, and it's, it's what I do. I, I, in my spare time, I have so much of it. I do very little. And I go, I zoom into all these writers meetings and every idea I have to approve. I have to green light every yeah. single idea. I was like, team Lucas, bad idea. Team Nathan all the way. Uh, and I said, you would, but flip it on him at the very end. Make it to where the show has no integrity at all. Uh, and here I am again. I'm doing it again. And this is a great theory. It's a great, great theory. And I stand by it. Cannot confirm nor deny though. Cannot. Well, there you go. There you have it. Well done. Uh, Hillary, way, Kathy, I tried. Yeah. Way Home is back. If there's no bad television, I'm out of a job. And I, I think you understand that. I'll so, just, there we go. It, that, it, that is more true. Lisa than, just said the exact thing in the chat that I just said, yeah. which is great. Yeah, I wouldn't That's have true. anything to despise. That's right. right. Uh, well, Way Home is back this Sunday, and we'll be back next Wednesday with a review of it. Excited to, I, I believe from henceforth, there's no weeks off. I think it was just the, uh, the Super Bowl. Oh, good, because I was real lonely without it. I was real lonely. <laughs> <laughs> he had queued up the end. He, it's tough. Because that sound is on a different board than the exit, the the outro, and he had to play. He, he Brand's doing the the Lord's sorry, work over here. Oh sorry, sorry, Brand. Sorry. <laughs> it's a good time. Uh, we'll be back next Wednesday with another Way Home episode, and of course, we'll be back on Monday uh, with Naughty Nine. That's right, with Alonzo from Disney Plus. Watch it this week, and if you want oh, to. Nice. Until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast is presented by <laughs> Aaron Shea. It's produced by Brandon Aaron Shea. Recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Brandon Aaron Shea. Brandon Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com. Bramble Jam God bless. God bless. What? <laughs> You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi, but here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day.